Hey, hey. What is going on, guys? My name is Doug, or always on board. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to use clipping masks. Um, I'm in Adobe Photoshop CC. I did this way back in the day in CS5, I think. So I'm pretty sure most of you guys are good to go. Now, in this tutorial, I have clouds right here. And I have that link in the description if you guys would like to download it. Um, you're going to need two copies of this. So let's come down here and just copy that. Or you could have clicked the layer and hit Command J, which would have duplicated that layer as well. So Command Z to get rid of that. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put text on here and then I'm going to make the text see through to the clouds. So it's going to be basically cloud text, if that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. So I'm going to type in board and I'm using the font Nova. And then I can reposition this where I want it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that below the actual cloud layer so that you can't see the text anymore. And there's two ways of actually making a clipping mask. One, um, there's the not so fast way, but it's not that slow either. So you just right click on the layer of the clouds and go to create clipping mask. Or you can do it the faster way, which is click on alter option and highlight in between the two layers and click. And then what that does is, well, you can't see it right now, but what that normally would do is make it to where the text is now the layer that you had selected. And so this is a clipping mask. So we can make this cool um, by making a drop shadow on the text. And that's why I had this uh, extra layer of clouds in the background so that we can actually put a drop shadow and make it look cool. So we can double click on the text, go to drop shadow, and then go to spread and distance. No, let's keep the distance pretty low. And then size and click OK. So that would be a cool little thing that you could do. And then you can actually resize the text. And if that looks cool to you, then I'm happy. And then another thing that we could have done to make another cool outlook is go to like an outer glow, uh, click on this and then grab like a cloud color. And then we can go to spread, actually size. And it gives you that like little halo effect. So now it's like board is in the clouds and it's beautiful and all that stuff. So that is one reason why I would use a clipping mask. Now the second reason why I would use a clipping mask uh, would be to actually add like a glare or a reflection or a shine to your text. So what we can do here is we can apply some text. So I'm gonna type in board. Let's make that more of a red, okay. And then we're gonna make a new layer and then click on this marquee tool. You can choose the elliptical or rectangular. I'm gonna use the rectangular and then we can drag that over the uh, board text, make a selection where you want the reflection and make sure you make that selection on your layer two that you just created. Click on B for the brush tool, make sure the color is white. And then we're gonna brush that in right on top of the text come over here and right click clipping mask or alt option in between these two and use the clipping mask on the the white that you just filled in. Now we can change that opacity to whatever you'd like. Let's say if you want a cool reflection, let's just say 45 ish looks all right. It kind of looks pink. So, you know, you can do whatever you want. Let's say that that's what we, that's what we want. And then we can take the actual, the eraser change the hardness to about 20% opacity to 100. And then we can just brush that harsh line out so that it has that style of a reflection. Now let's look at what it looks like with and without. So it adds that little bit of a glare or a reflection to the text. And that is the second reason why I would use a clipping mask. So if you guys have any questions or tutorial requests or anything that you need help with or you want to learn, Feel free to hit me up on Google+, Facebook, or Twitter, or leave a comment in this uh, video. I would be glad to help you guys and would give me more videos to produce. So, my name is Doug, or always on board. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to hit me up, and uh, have a good one.